Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together devotion for today. And one of the ways that we express or do paradox is this, is that, that we say things like, you know, we're not supposed to be tribal, so join our tribe. That didn't make any sense at all. But we do it all the time. In fact, there's a great uh, pro proliferance in our world today, especially in the United States, of non-denominational churches. The, you know, the churches that say, we're not a part of a denomination, and by doing so, they become somewhat of a denomination. In fact, they're more Baptist than the Baptists in many regards. Uh, and, and so there, there's this understanding that we, we know that we're not supposed to be tribal. We know that we're not supposed to huddle in cliques or gangs or groups and look at the other folks with suspicion and fear and say, uh, they're not so good, not, not as good as we are. We know we're not supposed to be tribal like that. And yet, in the ways that we strive to say, let's not be tribal, sometimes we create a whole new tribe that just simply turns around and judges the other tribe. For example, we are currently a lot of times doing this with racism. By, by saying that, you know, terms like I'm going to be an anti-racist or by, by talking about things and saying, saying perspectives, we, we're trying to create another category in which we're, we're categorizing people and grouping people together. I'll be honest, I'm a recovering racist. I am recovering racist simply because of the culture and the time period in which I grew up. But that doesn't mean that I go and start a, a, an AA group for ra recovering racists or anything like that so that we can c gather together and say, we're no longer racist, we're in recovery, and the rest of you poor saps that we just don't know. You see, so many times by trying to not be tribal, we create the very thing that we're opposed to. And this is the very di most difficult part of our faith is that what is supposed to happen, what does happen within the Gospels itself, within the book of Acts, is that the church is supposed to be distinguished from the world, holiness and an understanding of following God. But we are not called to judge the world. That's God's job. You know, by creating groups and small groups and, and wonderful gangs within the church, cliques even, that's a good thing as long as they don't look at the other groups with disdain. You see, the true beauty of Jesus' calling of the Twelve uh, and Jesus you know, looking out and, and the, the whole understanding of Galatians when Paul writes there, there is neither slave nor free, male nor female, Greek nor Jew, the real beauty of that is not that we eliminate all these categories and eliminate all these tribes, but the tribes no longer look at one another with a, a disdain or a judgment or a, I'm better than you. Instead, we look at each other through the lens of love, through the lens of understanding that we are all on a journey together. We are all in different paths. And when we come to that understanding and that acceptance, we find that we're better together. Amen.